are playing the Timberwolves in the preseason. And if you're watching at home, here's Russell Westbrook, another bad foul on big kid Jaden McDaniels and and one. So Patrick Beverly calls the team over to huddle up. Here we go. Anthony Davis is in. LeBron's in. And Russell Westbrook just doesn't want to come into the huddle. Just wants to stay on the sideline. Beverly literally goes over and says, come on over. And he's like, no thanks. Colin? There Listen, was also a There's moment. also one in the pregame warm-ups where the whole team goes in, put your hand up, and, you know. And he and will not like, join the team. It's like, wh- what are we doing? Uh, I know Lakers fans, it's only preseason. And there's a lot of Russell Westbrook truthers. No, this guy averaged a triple-double three years ago, Colin. We got to have him. Here he is. Look at him. Anthony he won't Davis make, is trying to beg him. He won't make eye contact with teammates. I thought they, he was best friends with Patrick uh, Beverly two oh, weeks ago, Oh, I thought ago, Darvin right? Ham, he's been great. He will not make eye contact with teammates. He sold his home, or he's trying to. He changed oh. his agent. Yeah. I mean, what it the Westbrook guys in this, what do you want us to think? I watched the body language, house for sale, changing his agents. Multiple times the Lakers have dropped hints. So I do not buy, I do not buy he will be around at the All-Star break. I mean, what do you want us to believe as consumers watching this? You know, he could say everything he wants, but at his heart, Russell Westbrook knows that LeBron does not want him there anymore. He knows that, and he can't just be a good soldier, get in the huddle, yeah, let's go, guys. Let's, he just can't do that. It's like Kyrie Irving. He cannot help himself, Colin. He can act like, oh, I, I want to be here. I'm with the Nets. Saw Steve Nash, Kevin Durant. And then he gets in front of a microphone and says, total nonsense. And you're like, oh, my gosh, he's blowing up the team. So, I don't know. Lakers going into the season, you're you're not really buying this team. Um, no. I, I, it's, it, first of all, um, if you look at the West, I'm not being negative here. Denver, Jamal Murray's back will be better. Porter as well. Michael Porter. Yeah. Okay. So, they'll be better. Dallas should be. Their players are young getting better. Uh, Golden State now has three young players who are emerging like star potential players. They'll be better. Clippers get Kawhi back. They'll be better. The Pelicans and the Memphis Grizzlies are ascending young teams. Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota Timberwolves went and spent a fortune. They'll be better. I'm at seven. Phoenix may not be better, but they're better than the Lakers today. Yes. So that's eight. That puts the Lakers... If everything goes okay with Westbrook, there's no toxic fallout at eight. This is just not a great team. And you can already feel the toxic. Oh, the you tox- can see toxicity. You happening. can see the video. Listen, the, it's the the video is telling you all you need to know. This is what we're seeing out. What's it like behind the scenes? We're, this is what the cameras are showing you. He can't even hide his disdain for what's going on. And by the way, Lakers open on Tuesday with the Warriors, and then they play the Clippers on Thursday. I will be in attendance at that game. Colin, w- wait till the Lakers start 0-2. And the media is like, well, you guys can't beat the top teams in the West. And Russell well, Westbrook. Have you noticed that. what the NBA has done? So the, the NBA, LeBron is still a television um, needle mover. So what the NBA has done, and they do this all the time. Nobody watches the NBA in October, November until Christmas. Nobody watches it. And they know that. Football, heart of the football season. So the NBA schedules the bigger marquee regular season games for February, March, and April. That's what they do. So the Lakers' early season schedule with LeBron is all the dregs of society, all the dregs of the NBA. So if the Lakers don't get out to like a 10-2 and two start, an 11-3 and three start, watch out. Because they have back-weighted, and they do this with the Warriors, they yep. do this often with LeBron James. They back-weight the schedule, the NBA does, because when we start, once football season ends in February, yep. then you want... Lakers Warriors, Lakers Dallas, Lakers Clippers, Lakers Celtics. That's when you want the big games. So if the Lakers do not get off to a big start, like 11 and 2, watch out because the back of the schedule, this is an old Laker team that our guess what you and I would guess there'd be some injuries later, right? So the beginning of the season they'll be their healthiest, they play the weakest teams. That's why my takeaway is uh, on Westbrook, you can't go into a season with that being an issue. Yeah. It's you hovering gotta, over the cloud. You have got to pick yeah. up a lot of wins early. The first month and a half Lakers schedule is a lot of a lot of W's if you show up and you're healthy. I don't think we talked about this last week, but Palinka got an extension. Notice how he locked that in before this potential disaster erupts for the Lakers, Colin. All right, J Mac with the news. Well, that's the news. And thanks for stopping by. The herd line. You know, it, it, it is. Um, we were talking about this yesterday. 
Tonight, two defensive coaches, Ron Rivera, Matt Eberflus, Bears, Washington play. It'll be a stinker. Uh, it's a great Saturday of college football. A lot of undefeated teams play. It is, it is a, it's the best college football weekend since, like, last year's playoff weekend. It is a great weekend of huge matchups, one of them being Michigan hosting Penn State. I like Michigan to win. I like him to cover. It is amazing. I went on the Internet last night. How many people are doubting Jim Harbaugh? And, um, you know, the knock on Harbaugh, and this is such a, it's such a dumb argument. It, well, he never won a national title. Folks, in the last 10 years, Ed Orgeron and Jimbo Fisher have won national titles. You don't think Harbaugh's a better coach? He got a team to a Super Bowl. That can't be the measuring stick of greatness. Nick Foles won a Super Bowl. Josh Allen can't get there. Is Nick Foles better than Josh Allen? I think if you took Nick Saban out of college football, there's an argument Harbaugh, Harbaugh's the second best coach. By the way, he took five wins to 10 first year at Michigan. It took Kirby Smart two years to win at Georgia. And Georgia is in a state with 130 minimum Division I football players. Harbaugh has to leave the state to get great players. Kirby Smart has to take his car around the corner to get a recruiting class. So Michigan is his fourth head coaching job. He's won in all of them. Three of four, he won the very first year. I think he's a great coach. Uh, people just, again, stubborn. Lamar Jackson's overrated, stubborn. Harbaugh can't coach. If you take out the COVID season, he averages 10 wins a year. He just beat Ohio State. He's the reigning Big Ten champ. He's coming off a playoff appearance. And I think this is potentially, by the end of the year, his fastest, best football team. Doubt him all you want. But I like Michigan to win this weekend, and I like him to win because I think Harbaugh's a better coach than James Franklin, and I think James Franklin is fine. But if you're still holding on to that dumb guy argument is he's never won a natty, Texas A&M today, if they could, would replace Jimbo Fisher with Jim Harbaugh. Ed Orgeron got fired twice. I love Ed Orgeron. One of the nicest guys ever. But his record in college football without Joe Burrow was under 500, and that's at LSU <laughs> and some USC. So it, it, it is, um, I, I, everybody is like, oh, keep your eye on Penn State. This is the Herdline News. All right, Colin, let's start with the great game this weekend in the NFL. Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen obviously going to do battle in Kansas City. Rematch of that great AFC playoff game last year quite the shootout both quarterbacks have expressed their mutual respect for each other as they prepare to face off again josh is a great guy i mean he's a great quarterback uh, physically talented can throw can run can really do it all um but he's a, he's a great dude too and so uh obviously when we're on the football field we were competing against each other and we want to we want to beat beat each other's teams um but i have a ton of respect for him and the player and person that he is as a football fan myself you know when i'm when i'm watching games you know I, I love watching him play. You know, he's he's a fantastic player. He he can do everything you want. Um, his teammates love him. And I know he's got a good grasp on the locker room over there and how he how he carries himself, the things that he does off the field for his charity. Um, he's just a, he's a special football player and a special guy. Everybody loves everybody, Colin. Well, the I mean, stars these, like each other. these are the two best quarterbacks in the league right now. Two best teams? Now, no, yeah, I, I think, think they're the two them. best quarterbacks. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I you can't keep selling me Aaron Rodgers <laughs> and you can't like I, I'm over that you can't keep selling me that over and over and over Mahomes now is the greatest come from behind quarterback ever and Allen's as physically gifted as any quarterback in my life much bigger than Aaron stronger than Aaron more mobile than Aaron these are the two best quarterbacks in the league and when they meet shock it's a firework show so I mean if you're still telling me and this is not a knock on anybody else, including Brady, but those are the two best quarterbacks in the league. If you're an owner and I say, Colin, you have the first pick, you can build your team around either of these quarterbacks, who are you taking, Mahomes or Allen? Well, at this point, Mahomes has shown the ability to consistently win from behind and consistently win really close games. Just because Josh did it a couple of weeks ago doesn't mean he does it well. The Bills struggle in close games, and the margins in this league, it's not... It's not the Big 12. Yeah. The margins are thin, and, and when you get to the postseason, it's two and three and four-point games. So 
Mahomes at this point has shown the greatest ability in league history to come from behind, and he's also shown the ability more consistently to win close games. Physically, I think I think Josh Allen physically is more impressive. Arm, size, running. I got the sound and the fake, I'm always straight. I got the diamond, the shine, like the lemonade. The bitches crying, like I say, ain't no time to waste. You always lying, like I race, right back in your face. You always crying, like a bitch, and you better pray. No better time for me, I'ma be a great. You check some signs, and it's great, you should change your way. You want some wine, and I hate the way you show your face. Off white kicks, got them danced out.